Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our Changeling campaign as the Deceivers, where, well, in the fantastic Old World mod to make things a bit different, where if you remember last time, we have, uh, we've just dealt with Festus, we had to do a little bit of a trickery in the mountains, I don't know why I'm doing an in inverted commas, we are literally a trickster, we are the Deceiver, we had a good joke in the mountains, we made Festus think that we'd allied with him and then we destroyed him, <laughs> And then we did a little bit of swappy woo trickery to uh, swap who was holding various bits of territory around so that we could uh, get ourselves embedded into the uh, into the settlements. And while they're not making money now, I'm staying symbiotic because I don't want to slow their growth from having to deal with other things. Um, so we are digging into these mountains nicely. And we are going to go to deal with what used to be um, Ostland. And we're going to get set up underneath that. Change. Oh, damn. Why did I not control myself? Derp, derp. I do think when you're only moving a tiny distance, it should just give you a warning. Now, what's interesting is you don't seem to be hidden when it's an abandoned settlement. But if I go into this region, I'll, I'll be instantly hidden again. Obviously, the gold mine here is why this, this region is going to be very solid for us. What I don't want, I want these guys to remain powerful enough and these guys down here to remain powerful enough that the Empire does not feel that it has to uh, nom them up. Who to set at war next? The mutant Ill, perhaps. Do not take me for a fool. Chinas. Lots of people whispering underneath them saying, Join us, be friends with us. Wow, it's really not making much difference yet. Though, to be fair, I don't know how much. It's going to impact it, but it will, slowly. We're, we're going for that. So they are aware of us here. There's not much I can do about it. I say eventually I will also do this mission, but it's it's taking my time. I'm not in a rush. I should have a mission for the um Pink Horror Twins as well. I need to have a look for that. Also, I need to start naming some characters once we uh, start making another army, which we will get to. See, the fact that the Empire and the Vamps are fighting is probably a saving grace, though I want to be able to force peace if the Vamps... Ooh, I might need to force some peace, because I do not want the Vamps to take over my territory here. Can't do it yet, but obviously we've got some expanded trickster cults, so we want to use that. There we go. We'll keep on expanding there. I am outside the plan, but part of they will have a good garrison, but we should be able to take that. Let's clear that no. out. Now that's an interesting thing. Can they clear it out without going to war with me? Doesn't mean they won't go to war with me, but can they do that? Can you clear it out from an ally without going to war? I don't know if anybody knows. Let me know if you do know down in the comments.
Get him. It's literally no point, man, in doing that. You are not in a position to be of any sort of threat to anybody. So yes, force rebellion. Where should we force a rebellion? I think here. And then I am also going to open your gates. No, don't want to force peace for that yet, but at some point I might decide it's worth doing. Force war, we definitely want to work on that. We shall have with that. Altering states. Let's play some tricks. Lovely symbiotic cult, because this place is clearly going to make us a butt ton of money. Um, to be fair, that's not worth it in Flensburg anymore, because there's literally nowhere for it to expand to. Of light. Hmm. I'm going to push that up to try and expand a bit further there. Yeah, may as well try and make some money. I mean, hell, now I know that I'm here, I may as well just go down the thingy route. Deliver your missive and then get from my presence. Oh, you see, ah, it builds tolerance. Okay, I see how it works. Let's start pushing down that one again. They know I'm here, so there's there's barely it. There's literally no point in hiding it. See, I don't think I can cross the river there, or it would have already done it. I wonder how much that stacks over time, if you can get it to huge amounts. That would be quite cool if you could. Sorry, I'm kind of avoiding battles at the moment. I mean, I will fight battles when it, when it, when it makes sense to. And I'm I just Festus is a faction I particularly Festus the Lord is particularly horrible to fight. I am everyone. And no one. Yeah, we want to do this whole region. I also want to start transferring settlements into these guys as soon as I can. So, I have noticed this seems to keep going up in every time I do something that it seems to increase the time for them all. So I think I need to do some... Ah, ah okay, it's the tricks to cultists which I gain from certain actions. Okay, I get it now. Which I will gain from completing these schemes. So, yeah, I need to uh, win more battles. 
uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll push towards Drakenhof soon. Um, fight for dwarves, have a rav uh, sack alt or for construct a ravening host. So we will probably start pushing towards Altdorf. Once we've dealt with this, we'll probably sail down the river directly to Altdorf. Or maybe not. Maybe push our way through their territory. I suspect the rebellion failed, but it will have kept their eyes off the ball for at least a second or two. Come on, back round to my turn so I can keep expanding my hidden empire. I keep wanting to call it the under empire because it feels such a scaven mechanic. beauty with this is I'm also making them make more and here you know, we definitely also want to start building spreading buildings though I'm gonna go for the cheapy one the uh, they are hmm. My economy is fine, so I'm going to go for the more hidden ones for the time being. And I'll think about the other things, because I don't really need to... Deliver your missive and then get from my presence. So, can that go higher than 30? I don't know if any of you guys know. Who calls? Can the ruler's tolerance go higher than 30? Pandemonium is my name. Uh, I want to finish off the magic first. Let's see, what's this one do? An AoE. Oh. An AoE uh, lead ship debuff is really useful, to be fair. There we go. Great Gate of Siege. An army loyal to the Changeling is summoned. But it's a bit... Weird. Because I can just build an army, probably quicker. I wonder if it's uh, from their troops, though. So I might do that just to see what it what it is. Because they know I'm there. They forgot. Oh, the Empire Confederated. The gits. The absolute gits. Diplomatic. Nope. I do not like that at all. I mean, the Empire isn't too powerful, but still, that was my little pocket kingdom I was slowly persuading in. God damn you, friendly boy.
I mean, I may as well slowly make him him like me more, but. My hand hovers close to my blade. Utter your demand before I raise it. No money to offer them, but they are slowly becoming my friends. They will eventually become my puppet. This may take a while. But no, I think I think we got this down. How it's going at the moment. I don't want to jinx myself too much, but we are in the right place. Unfortunately, that does mean that I may lose territory to vampires. And this is the thing: having wars over where I've got settlements is not useful anymore. So I might want to force peace between the vampires and the empire for the time being. Until I can assist my empire friends, who aren't my friends yet. Because obviously if this territory gets turned over repeatedly, the settlements will be trash. And I won't make money off of them, we'll have to go parasitic again. And make the region a pain for everybody involved. Which isn't terrible, to be fair. There are worse things. So this one's not gonna be worth having a spready building in it, but this one definitely is. This win is mine. There we go. And while we do reduce these a little bit, they still make a fortune, so. Fort Covia is going to fall next, and again we're Probably going to start feeding, slowly feeding this into uh, Hockland. Certainly going to give them the gold mine because I want them to be nice and powerful so they don't feel pressured by Franzi Boy to join his confederation of annoyance. I'm going to make the Empire go to war with them. I say that, they're doing okay here, so I might leave them alone for now, but... So her gig's still not being built up enough to really make money, but the rest does. And up here, I mean, yeah, it's still not built up much, but it will be over time. Good. Good. It is time to strip a load of junk out of this. And we are going to fall back, and we are going to rebuild our army to an extent now. I've got everything I'd like, but we can definitely make ourselves a much better army at this point in time. So yeah, go into our main region in Hockland, and so, ah, oh, damn it, I forgot to, uh... I meant to do the transfer settlement boogaloo to uh, help Excuse increase them, but we'll see. I don't think I. Uh, no. I'm friends with the Empire factions. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm not doing that at the moment. Oh, they also reduce my discoverability. That's quite useful. My hand hovers close to my blade. Utter your demand before I raise it. Ringing bedlam. Well, in fact, I'm right next to their settlement and they don't have a clue. So I'm completely hidden. Together. What a fantastic Well, I'm hidden from enemies, and they're not technically my enemies, so I guess I'm not hidden. So we are going to uh, change stance, and we're going to rebuild my army a bit now. Finally. Finally getting around to it. Guy, I'm going to be hard pressed not to play ahead as these guys. And then we'll, we, we're going to get this army sorted, and then we're going to build a secondary army. I'm going to complete. I'm going to strip out a lot of this army, guys, just to be aware. If only the master would let me be in for nice. And again, it's a money maker. And here, Wolfenberg, I may as well strip this out now, because there's nowhere for it to expand to. The Empire. Sorry guys, I know you're very veteran, but you're literally pointless at this point in time. Whisperer of unwelcome truths. Right, hang on. Orders heeded. So chosen are good, but they only come in thingies, and I can't get them yet, and they'll take quite a while. So we're going to go for Chaos Warriors. See? Uh, 42, 44. I'll probably keep another a second unit of Slangors on my Zargors, Zangors on my flank. And then, yeah. Other things are going to be a little bit of a mixture, but we're going to... Because we've got quite a few monstrous units already. I could swap to Exalted Flamers. Because look at that extra damage. These are Chained Bringers. Oh. Oh. What's the difference? Oh, these ones are flying. Yeah. Sorry, guys. You're being fired. Or not to be. As are you. Mm. Yeah, sorry. No, I'm going to keep him for the moment. I'm not going to be able to build everything in one go, so... Right now, we are just lying low, having fun, letting the world slowly change. The end game is going to be fun because, I mean, it's going to not affect me. It's going to be so weird. I've technically reduced my power quite substantially here, but again, I'm, I'm hidden, so it doesn't matter. At this point, I am basically unkillable. Right, I'm gonna have to force peace down there, aren't I? If I can. Pandemonium is my name. <laughs> Why 
Ivy's quicker. I mean, okay, that does a hell of a lot of damage, but still. In fact, these are flying is really powerful. Search seems good. Change is progress. Keep it hidden. No, I thirst. Stop fighting. There you go. We have stopped them fighting. I'm still at war, with Frenzy Boy, but. And I will go to war with the vamps. But for now, I wanted it to stop because they're just going to start turning over the territory I've got things in. And I need that money at the moment. Um, I, If I were to not want, care about it, I'd go full parasitic down here. And make everybody pay for any movement. Which is what I might end up doing if they go to war with each other again. But we'll see. Yeah, if they go to war, we'll go full parasitic down here. And just make everything, you know, any time anybody leaves the settlement, they just, just suffer. Deceiver. Two units of cavalry. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh, I should have another event. There you go. It's a bit of an odd-shaped force that's still at the moment, but it's what I've got. I could pull him out. Trouble, God, Axel. No, I'm going to keep him in for the moment as another chariot, so... I say I've got less range, but actually... Uh, you know what? I don't think I need that big a front line. I am going to go for another one of these. Because we still got a decent sized front line, and these guys are obviously some of my big damage dealers. We've got some flying fire boys as well to really help out, so. Yes, that'll do. Do not waste my time with petty talk. Make your offer and be done. So, tolerance doesn't, but we seem to be getting events which are helping as well, so. By the comet! And now, yep, we're starting making lots of lovely cash there. And as I said, we'll start building another army up here soon. Oh, and I might actually do this battle. Once we've got my army done. to be fair. See, so yeah, I could have got a chosen. I might just get the other army in. Flying Doom Knights are too glass cannon to be fair. Bringing bedlam. And I do want to get some of these into things long run because it's just cool. Okay, anyway guys, that is where we're going to leave it for today. So thank you very much for watching. 
I do hope you are enjoying this playthrough. We will try and uh, take my army out to get some fighting next time, because I've not really fought any battles. There's been no battles worth fighting for a while, so... Yeah, certainly this session has been none worth fighting, but I'll try and get some battles into the next one for us, so we can show off my new burninating army. Other than that, guys, as always, uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below to help me against the most powerful of Varuna's powers, the YouTube algorithm. And as always, an extra special thank you to our channel members and patrons, that is Monsterbound, Nose Nose, Andrew T, Prataru, Coding Monster, Jason Air, Egg, Scrin, Noobie One Kenobi, Jared Horn, Good Sir Twisted, and Space Ace 475. And thank you everyone for watching. Cheers all.